Alright, hey guys, so this is mostly just a test. As you can see, the video is recorded in potato quality. I, record, I recorded this on my phone, and the sound is also in potato quality. I'm recording this on um, Windows Sound Recorder. But I just wanted to um, try uploading some videos of me playing Smash on 3DS. I just got the game five days ago, and I've been playing a ton of Fork Glory. Actually, the story is that um, I want to learn the game really fast. Uh, I have a history with competitive Melee, competitive Project M, and uh, so what I've done is I've pretty much only played for Glory. I, I mean, I unlocked all the characters, I played some classic mode, and what I did was I played for Glory one-on-one -on -one matches, um, at least uh, maybe a hundred matches uh, or more with only random selects. I wanted to learn all the characters, and um, Right now, I've settled on Jigglypuff as, I, I guess, I would say a main. I mean, I've been playing uh, some Dr. Mario, some Yoshi. Um, but I've settled on Jigglypuff because I feel that she's very anti-meta right now. Um, a lot of people, they like to main Sheik, Zero Suit, Little Mac. Um, quick characters who have a strong ground, ground game. And it seems to be a lot, what a lot of people are focusing on, which is the ground game. Uh, and also, people like to go for a lot of gra uh, grab combos. I played against a Ness. Um, last night, and uh, it seems like one of Ness's favorite combos is to do a down throw into a bunch of forward air attacks and link them together. Um, but I recently picked up Jigglypuff, and it seems that most of the follow-ups that people like to go for after grabs don't work on Jigglypuff, as long as you DI or Vector or whatever people call it. As long as you DI up and away or straight up or something, most people can't go for their grab follow-ups, so I like that about Jigglypuff. And the reason... The main reason I picked her as well is that I, she feels a lot like Melee Jigglypuff um, with the way she weaves in and out and going for space aerials. Um, and I just really like the way uh, she works. Um, so she's kind of anti-ground game, anti-grab combos, and you just kind of space aerials the same way you would play her in Melee, and it seems to be working out really well. Obviously, um, this game hasn't been fully explored, so I'm kind of just improvising as I go. Uh, as you can see, right now I'm playing against Palutena, and I'm just trying to see what she does. Um, she took the first stock because I wasn't really sure what she was doing. Um, anyways, uh, the match just ended. So, the next match, um, I just recorded this one recently, is against a Captain Falcon. And I thought this matchup would be free, so you can kind of see me kind of bum-rushing him in the beginning. Um, seeing what he might do. Um, well, right here I'm kind of spacing uh, to see what he wants to do, and he's kind of just waiting for me. I'm surprised. You know, most people are pretty active players, and they kind of just do stuff. And how I play with Jigglypuff so far against most players is to just throw out nares and see if they will run into it, um, and see how they respond to my spacing. Um, but this Falcon was very patient and really awkward, and uh, just kind of doing things that threw me off. Um, at one point, he gets a down throw knee on me. I'm not sure if it already happened, but. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just trying to hit him with Nairs, uh, but his spacing is actually pretty decent, and he's hitting me with Falcon Kicks that I'm not really expecting. Um, I'm a really aggressive player, so um, you don't really see me reacting to a lot of stuff that are pretty easy to react to. So if any of you see something that I could have easily punished, um, and what I should do in the neutral game instead, uh, maybe just like shielding or something, just leave a comment um, to help me out. Because uh, I'm still young at this game, I mean... The thing about Jigglypuff, the reason I settled on her is because I recently got like a, probably like a 25 win streak on 4 Glory, and, and, and I've been playing a lot, and um, I fought against, you know, you, you get a lot of Japanese players, I'm not sure if they're Japanese players or if they're American players with Japanese uh, 3DSs, but you get a lot of those once you keep winning a lot. I'm not sure if the matchmaking is still based on Global Smash Power or if there is some kind of hidden ELO, if any of you know, then feel free to comment on that. Um, but it seems like the players do get better if you win a lot of matches in 4 Glory. And some of the strongest players that I've fought against are like Japanese, Sheiks, Meta Knights, Marth. Um, I feel like those are not the best characters in the game. Um, maybe they're really popular because they're pretty simple to use. But obviously a lot of people like uh, Yoshi, Rosalina, I'm seeing a lot of Greninja. Um, but anyways, uh, I think Falcon got the first kill. Unfortunately, with the way I recorded this... Um, I'm not sure what the best way to record matches on 3DS is because I can't see the bottom screen where it shows the percent. 
So in this video, you can kind of only see the spacing um, and the choices of attacks that we use. I get an edge guard right here. I knew I would kill him because Falcon's recovery, um, just like in any other game with Captain Falcon, is pretty easy to edge guard. Um, all you have to do is throw out like a forward air or an air, which will hit him out of his up B. And as you can see, he's he's kind of on tilt. He's kind of just attacking me now, which gives me a lot of room to just throw out aerials, and he's running into them. And that's kind of what you do with Jigglypuff. You don't really um, approach that much. You don't really uh, try to actively hit people. You kind of just get in your face, get it in their face, and throw out aerials. And people just run into them, and that's kind of how I get a lot of wins. Um, so it, it kind of becomes a test of patience, like. Whoever is the more patient. Oh wait, this combo right here. I didn't know that would work. Um, I what I what I did right there was a ledge jump into a down air, and it kind of set him up right behind me. I didn't think it would hit a standing falcon, but it hit him and it sent him up right behind me, and I hit him with a back air. And the thing about Jigglypuff's back air in this game, it kills at like 130. I killed a DDD at 132 with back air, and that's pretty amazing uh, because DDD is super heavy, and Jigglypuff's back air is not very difficult to hit. Um, so, I guess Jigglypuff's knockback scales really well, and um, it seems to be pretty easy to kill people as long as you can get that back air in. Um, so, this is this player is the same guy as Captain Falcon player, um, and he wanted to pick Lucina, I guess, to, I don't know, counterpick me or have someone who has better spacing tools, which Lucina does have. And you can see him kind of hitting me a lot in the beginning of the match, but what I'm trying to do is just play aggressive and see how he responds to me being in his face. Um, one thing you might notice too is that in this game, because the ledge mechanics are pretty free, like every every character can recover for pretty free, uh, unless the recovery is like really bad, like Ganondorf or Dr. Mario or something, um, most people have an easy time getting back to the ledge. So and what I see a lot of people do is kind of just let people recover. They stand on the ledge and allow that ledge auto, auto sweet spot to happen, and they don't jump out there and edge guard. Which I feel you should always do, no matter what character you're playing. I mean, if your recovery is bad, then it would be a risk. But since I'm Jigglypuff, I pretty much always try to intercept their recovery and jump out there. Um, right here, I tried to run off and nair him, but he hit me with a forward air before I can hit him. Um, but you should pretty much always do it. And there, again, is another back air kill. I believe that was at like 110. Uh, you can't see the percent, but um, from what I remember, that was a really low percent kill. And that, that surprised me. Every time it kills at a low percent, I get surprised. Um... And so, besides neutral air, I try to use a lot of forward air because they have a long duration. I try to use a lot of pound as well. Whenever I think people are going to attack, I use pound because it has a huge hitbox and moves forward. So it beats out a lot of attacks. Um, and it also has uh, a property where it breaks shields. I think two pounds will break a shield. Um, so if you see me pound someone's shield ever, uh, it goes really low. Um, yeah, I just got countered right there. Um, I'm pretty sure I win all of these. Um, my win rate is very high on Poor Glory, so I, I, I keep playing so that I can find better players. And they have been getting progressively better. Uh, the reason, I guess, whatever ELO I have is pretty low is because um, I, I played a lot of random select, so um, I guess I'm going to have a win streak for a while. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a test video recorded in potato quality, um, so hopefully...